But how much rain are we expected to get? And when will the rain stop? Meteorologist Evelyn Tapp is here with your next weather forecast. Yeah. Wow, pal, what an incredible night mm. tonight as far as rain. I mean, 14 inches. Amazing. Four, right? Unbelievable. I mean, For 14 us. inches in just the last less than 24 hours. So we're talking to San Marcos Pass, Nordoff Ridge in Ventura County and Santa Barbara County as well. And on top of that, we're still tracking very heavy rain with thunderstorms embedded in there. So we're going to live track some of these cells for you. Take a look right here. East Sierra Madre Boulevard, East Mountain Street, North Altadena Drive, East Colorado Boulevard, East Del Mar Boulevard in Pasadena and Foothill Boulevard right there along the 210. We are looking at very heavy rain and the potential for thunderstorms storms when we see red that means downpours that means wind and yes lightning thunder and downpours and as you take a look right here along East Sierra Madre Boulevard between East Foothill Boulevard take a look at that that's where the heaviest rain is coming in right now let's zoom out a little bit and I'll show you exactly what we're looking at as far as storm tracking goes now this particular cell is continuing on it looks like it's going to hit Baldwin Park in the next 15 or so minutes take a look Arcadia getting hit in the next three minutes Monrovia five minutes again plus or minus a couple minutes, but generally speaking, Duarte, and we are, uh, of course, very concerned about the area getting very heavy rain in the next eight minutes or so. And as we mentioned, Baldwin Park, the next 14 to 16 minutes expecting to get hit with very heavy rain. Now, Dayton Avenue, North Broadway right there, Collis Avenue, uh, North Figueroa Street as we head into Highland Park. We are looking at very heavy rain through Echo Park, Highland Park, along North San Fernando Road, just right off Santa Monica Boulevard, right there along the two. Now we've got watches and warnings to contend with at least through midnight for parts of LA County. We are expecting the potential for flash flooding, already looking at flooding through parts of Southern California, hence the warning. We also have a flood watch and a warning to our north, but for Santa Barbara County, the flash flood warning has now been canceled as the cells have continued to slow down just a little bit. Overnight, we're continuing to see very heavy rain over our mountain and foothill communities. First thing in the morning, no exception. Now by 11 a.m., we're expecting to get hit with some heavier rain through the afternoon through 2 o'clock tomorrow. Now by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, drier conditions, even though we still could see some leftover showers and possibly some snow showers in the higher elevations. Now, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, expecting rain yet again. Afternoon showers Sunday, but getting a little bit of a break for the first part of the day. For the IE, we're in the 50s, turning to the 60s and 70s, but more importantly, rain back in the forecast by the time we hit the weekend, but getting a little bit of dry on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but more rain and thunderstorms expected at least, Pat, through tomorrow. So, got to just